I absolutely love installing phones for caption call because it makes people so happy. It really connects them when they didn't have that connection. I, I go to so many people who just can't hear and they've lost connection with their friends, with their family, and they're just like by themselves. It really cuts them off. So it really expands their lives. And tell me about how you got involved with HLAA. Well, actually, I got involved with HL HLAA by accident. Um, I've, I've had a hearing loss since I'm 20, but I found out about it actually by somebody who does not have a hearing loss and just happened to mention it to me. So by accident. And how has it improved your life, being involved in the community? So I'm going to tell you a little bit more than you asked. Good. So my first convention was in Washington. I think it was 2011. That was where I went to HLA by accident. I didn't know a thing about it. I didn't know anything. And I was like blown away. All these people with hearing loss, wearing hearing aids, wearing cochlear implants. Like, I couldn't believe it. And I met somebody, an old timer, and they said, hey, when you go back to New Jersey, that's where I'm from, why don't you start a chapter? And I said, why would I start a chapter? I don't even know what it is. And I went back and I started a chapter, and it changed my life, because I've met other people with hearing loss, and meeting other people who go through the same thing as you, you can't learn that from anybody else. You can't get the support and understanding and, and, and knowledge from anybody else. So, and now that's what I'm doing, I'm giving it back. So, I give it back in everything I do. Can you tell me what advice you would give someone who is just starting to lose their hearing? So there's so much advice I'd like to give them that I don't know how to do it in a short interview. But probably the most important thing is to be, to be open about it, to advocate for yourself, to not buy into the negative stereotypes, to know that hearing loss is nothing but hearing loss. It's not it doesn't mean you're brain dead, it doesn't mean you're stupid, it doesn't mean you're shy, it doesn't mean you're a snob, it just means you have a hearing loss. And once you understand that, it's just hearing loss. Tell me how getting involved with Caption Call and installing Caption Call has improved your life. Oh, I love talking about this too. You're asking great, great <laughs> questions. I mean, how can it not improve your life by being able to help other people? How could it not? So I'm able to help other people, and while I'm installing the phones, they might have a question. I can talk to them about it. I can tell them about HLAA. I can help them use the phone. What more can I want? Have you had people that you've installed the phone tell you what a difference it's made in their life? So that's actually hard to answer because I don't necessarily see them a week or a month afterwards. So the answer is, I'm sure they would. <laughs> but just because I don't see them, then I can't. But at that moment that I install it and for that hour or whatever that I'm trying them, they are like, That's an interesting question. I come from a family of great hearing, but lousy eyesight. So glasses was a part of my family. Of course, I have great eyesight, but hearing loss was like, I didn't even barely knew about it. But when I was 20, people started to mumble and talk softly, and I couldn't figure out why. It's only five years later I got a hearing test that I found out that I had quite severe hearing loss. 
So it was really after a while. And do you know what happened? Was it genetic? Was it from, are you just not sure? You know, there are, I think, five or six known reasons. I say there's another one. <laughs> uh, what else would you want to tell somebody who would be watching this video? Just to be proud of your hearing loss. Now that it's, it has, it's, it's just not a big deal. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. Don't be afraid to smile about it. Don't be afraid to make light about it. Uh, don't get upset when people forget. Don't be upset when people can't mind read what you don't know. In other words, make sure you tell people what you need to be able to hear better. But I think bottom line to know it's just hearing loss. It's beautiful. Is there anything else? Um, anything else you would add about caption call? I, mean, I love caption call. Oh. I love caption call. I love everything about it. Number one, it's pretty easy for people to use and it's got a lot of features. Maybe not everybody's gonna use all the features, but that's okay. The main thing is that it's gonna caption the people they talk to. And the other thing that people love is the messages. People love the fact that they can get messages because listening to messages if you don't have hearing loss, is akin to torture. <laughs> but with the captioning, it's like, it's great. It's great. You don't have to, you don't have to torture yourself anymore.